What's up, Jake Pollard? I'm gonna be doing a product review for you guys today, and that product is a brand new one that I j Dang it. Dip it dot cereal. Who would have thought? You can also call it by its nickname, which is diabetes in a box. Let's do this. Got my 2% milk because I'm an American. Actually, as I pour this, I'm gonna tell you a little story. Back in the day, used to go to amusement parks. Dippin' Dots were all the rave. They were so cool, I always wanted them. My mom wouldn't let me have them most of the time because they were too expensive. But their slogan back in the day was ice cream of the future. And I always thought, you know, I may not have them now. But in the future, everyone's gonna be eating them, gonna be so cheap. I'm a little upset at Dippin' Dots. They've not made themselves into the mainstream market and they're still super expensive. But still really good. We're gonna see how good they are as a cereal today. Smell test. Not great, smells like dog food. Gotta take the spoon out, I'm a little OCD with my, oh gosh, it, it comes out hot. One thing that I'm noticing kind of cool, you know, a lot of cereals that have games, crosswords, different things for you to do on the back while you eat. This one, same exact thing. That's pretty cool and lazy. I think this is gonna be fire. Here we go, first bite. Welcome to my ASMR channel. Do you like that? Does that feel good? Hmm. I would say they taste exactly like most other cereals. <laughs> yeah, you know the, the non-exciting stuff and the Lucky Charms, just like the grains? It tastes like a less tasty version of that. That's pretty disappointing. <coughs> Got a little in my windpipe. Um, overall, I'm gonna give diabetes a four on the taste scale, and I'm gonna give it a three on the Enneagram scale. I think it just, it wants to, to achieve things, um, but it's it just not there yet. No, you would, it would not even taste good to you, Moose. I, I promise you're not missing anything. Closing thoughts, I feel like what we have here is Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin. Love them separately. Together, I don't, we'll see, I guess. No, that, there's probably a better analogy than that. Whatever, thanks for watching. Yeah, it was kind of a weird video, huh? I don't really know why I did that. I was hoping it would be really good.